what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel now look at this nice and beautiful olympia question we have here which says x to power 5 is equal to 9 to power x we have to look for the value of x now i'm going to be writing the question down which is x to power 5 equal to 9 to power x now the first thing we're going to do is to take the ln of both sides which is the natural log of both sides so i'm going to be taking a natural log of the left hand side which is x to the power 5. i'm also going to be taking a natural log of the right hand side which is 9 to the power x and since i'm using the natural log and i have exponents then i'm going to be applying the law of logarithm here the law of logarithm says that whenever i have a log it could be a natural log of a number a that is raised to a power let's say n the law of logarithm says use the power n to multiply the log of a that is it so we're going to be applying this law to what we are doing so let's do that let's use the power which is 5 to multiply the natural log of x are you seeing that very good so equal to now let's do the same thing here use the power to multiply the natural log of 9. So natural log of 9. Now, what we have is looking good. So we need the variables to be on one side and the numbers to be on the other side. Now, when we look at what we have, you notice that we have variable and a number, we have variable and a number. So in order for us to clear the air, we're going to be using 5 x to divide both sides so let's use 5x to divide both sides so that we have the variables and the numbers to be on their separate ways so 5 here can go with 5 now you see this leaving behind just variables here now you notice that this x can go with x so look at it leaving behind just the numbers here so we have the natural log of x dividing x equal to we have the natural log of 9 dividing 5 so everything is looking good i want to express this in a different form which is in an exponential form what do i mean i'm going to be applying something like this which is a property of an exponential which says that whenever i have a base exponential of lin of a number this is equal to that number are you seeing that which means that the exponential and this natural log goes off leaving behind a so that's what i'm going to be doing which means that if i am to apply this to x it means that i'll be writing the natural log sorry exponential of the natural log of x because x will be left behind so x which is an ordinary x can be written like this so let's write this in place of this so i have the natural log of x all over now i'll be writing this instead of x exponential of the natural log of x so equal to natural log of 9 divided by 5 very good so everything is looking well and good all right so i'm going to be having the natural log of x now i want to move this from the bottom to the top so it's going to be exponential but as i'm moving it to the top it will affect the sign in the power so the sign in the power is going to change from positive to negative so negative lin x are you seeing that cool so equal to the natural log of nine all over five now look at this power and look at what we have here they are the same thing the only difference is that this one is having a negative so i want this to have negative so in order for that to be possible i'm going to be multiplying through by negative so i'm going to be multiplying through by negative so when negative goes into what i have on the left hand side i'm going to be having negative natural log of x exponential of negative in natural log of x equal to the same thing happens when negative goes into what i have on the right hand side i'm going to be having the negative of the natural log of nine all over five good so now pay attention to what we have on the left it looks exactly like this for example a 
exponential of a. You see, whenever we have a property like this, where we have what is here to be the same as what is here, and when we apply the Lambert W function to an expression like this, we're going to be having the same number, a. Are you seeing that? So when I have an expression like this, as long as what I have here is the same as what I have here, when I apply the Lambert W function, I'm going to be having the value. Now watch. Comparing this to this, you see that they look alike, right? That means I can apply the Lambert W function to this. So let's do that. So I'm going to be applying the Lambert W function to both sides of the equation. So I apply the Lambert W function to the left-hand side, which is negative ln x, exponential of the negative ln x. To the left-hand side, I'll also do that to the right-hand side. So the Lambert W function of negative ln 9 all over 5. So that is it. So what will happen? Just as the number remains, as I apply the lambda W function, the value here will also remain, which is negative ln x remain. Equal to what I have on the right-hand side, W into negative ln 9 all over 5. Now, this negative, just as the law of logarithm, which says that when I have a log of a value, let's say a, and it is raised to a power, the power can be taken to multiply the log of a. Which means that when I have an expression like this, it can also go back to its original form. From this to become a power here. So what I have here is negative 1. So it can become a power to this x. So this can be written as the natural log of x to the power of, this is negative 1, so power of negative 1. That is it. So equal to Nash w into negative natural log of 9 all over 5. Very good. So now, how do I remove this natural log? I can remove this natural log by taking the base exponential of both sides of the equation. So let's do that. So I'll take the base exponential of the natural log of x to the power of negative 1. I'll also take the base exponential of what I have on the right-hand side, which is w into negative natural log of 9 all over 5. Now, what do you think is going to happen? Let's see that on the following slide. All right. Just as we said, whenever an exponential is carrying a natural log, the both of them can go leaving behind the value of x to the power negative 1 equal to what I have on the right-hand side is exponential of w into the natural log of 9 all over 5. Very good. Now, this is an inverse of x, which can be written as 1 all over x, right? Good. Equal to exponential of what I have on the right-hand side like this all over 5. Now, watch. I'm looking for the value of x, not an inverse of x. So, in order to get the value of x, I'm going to be taking the inverse of both sides. So, the inverse of 1 all over x is going to give me x. Equal to the inverse of what I have on the right-hand side is 1 all over what I have on the right-hand side, which is exponential of w into the negative of natural log of 9 all over 5. So that is it. I believe this is our final answer. Well, if you learned something from this video and you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.